that's what, you, you just ran that job, right? So okay, listen, okay. that was Takeover Bars. This is the Takeover Files. What's going on? It's your boy Lito Takeover. This is Takeover Files, man. We got a special, special episode. She just went crazy on Takeover Bars. Some slight. Some chill, but went crazy. Switched it up for him, too. Switched it up. You feel me? <laughs> the, the one and only Nate Star, you feel me? The biggest. Yep. You know what I'm saying? What's up? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm good. I'm, you got me sweating, man. You was talking some shit in I'm Oh, for real? You talking some shit in this That's job. just how I feel in real life. Like, that's just my real life. That's just how I feel. No, no I feel that. So, so look, let, let's start off on, let's get to know you a little bit. Where you from? Okay, so I was born in Chester, but when I was like 12, I moved to Atlanta. Mm. So like yeah, I'm from Chester though. You're from Chester. So, Alright, was you in Atlanta throwing them seeds up or was you in Atlanta saying you was from Philly? I was in Atlanta saying I was from Philly. Okay, Ooh. you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> he caught me. Okay, let me tell y'all why though. Like I I used to say that because like everybody don't know Chester, but like the people surrounding. So like, I just used to say Philly because I'm not finna do all that explaining. Nah, fast. And like, yeah. I feel that. So, like, I'm gonna keep it I went to school. I went to school in Virginia on Richmond, you feel me? Okay. And like, niggas, where you from? You feel me? First up, Darby, you know what I'm saying? But then I was like, man, niggas don't, I don't feel like breaking this shit. I'm really from Philly, you feel me? But I lived in Darby from like my whole schooling, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck it, I'm from Philadelphia. That's my shit now, you feel me? <laughs> Philadelphia. So you feel me? <laughs> no, that, that's dope though. So how was that, you know, just, um, that that transformation just from Chester to Atlanta. <laughs> it was hard. It was hard. But, like, I don't know. Because, like, my mom just never made it seem hard. But it was hard. It was hard. My mom just never made it seem like it was. But I know it was hard. Now that I'm older, I understand that it was hard. When, when did you, like, catch your accent coming in? Like, did you? I don't know. I think <laughs> I lost my accent, like, the first year of, like, how, me going to school. That's how it yeah. Don't even realize it. Yeah, like everybody be like, I like your accent. I'm like, what accent? <laughs> no, you, you definitely got the accent now. No, but man, that's dope though. So, so when did music come into play for you? Music, okay. So I used to uh, be going to the studio with my friend, like just for fun and stuff. But it's like a year ago I started taking it serious, and I was writing raps when I was a little girl and stuff, and like performing and stuff at my parties and stuff. But I never knew like I was I'd be taking it serious, like. But that's what I'm on now, and that's. All y'all need to know. God got a plan for me. No, nah, no, nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. So so would you say that you uh would would you say you love music? Or that you're in love with music? Yeah, I love music. I love music. You sure? I, yeah, I listen to music every day. Like every day I wake up, I listen to like different kind of people, all different all different types of people. I like music. I so love music. so when would you say like do you remember when you fell in love with music? No. Nah. I don't remember that. Cause like I don't remember that. It's like, it's just been around me my whole life. Like, my brothers rap. They be going to the studio. It's like, I don't know. It just, That's just came saying. on to me. I don't know how to explain that. No, nah, no, nah, I feel that. that. So, so tell me about some of your, uh, those, those first studio sessions in comparison to now. Oh, the first, <laughs> I was just playing. Like, me and my friend was just playing, like, but it was kind of hard, but, like, I don't know what we was talking about. We was talking about some crazy shit. But now it's like I'm more comfortable, but I be feeling like I just need to be in the studio by myself because it's like a vibe, a mm. vibe thing. I go off vibes. And no, I feel that. So I just be needing to be by myself. And you got to be in, like, a, a a certain head space to produce. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? To to really get out your your thoughts, you feel me? Yeah, like, and that's like <laughs> that's crazy. Damn, you goofy as hell. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's crazy because like that's just like what I was going through in life and I just feel like God been having me like in a hidden season and like that's why I'm on here today because I feel like the world need to know who the fuck I am. No, no, that's a big <laughs> that's a big fact. Yeah. So all right. Describe yourself in with five different uh, words or adjectives. Um, I'm goofy. I'm that bitch. Like <laughs> even like when I'm going through shit, like I don't. It don't look like it. Like right now, I'm going through it. Fucking time out, but it don't look like you do it. Right. <laughs> so yeah, and like um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just that girl. That's what I do now. No, I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. That, that that was only three, but I'm gonna oh, let you slide. I don't <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you slide. I don't know what to say, y'all. <laughs> no, no, that's a fact. I feel that. So, so what's next for you with this music thing? What's what? next? 
Um, I'm just really flowing and going with God playing. Like, I don't really like. I used to like try to force stuff and stuff, but now I'm just in like a headspace. Like whatever God want for me, that's what it's gonna be. Mm. Like I'm real heavy on God. Like, I and I feel like if like I try to stop like stuff and like quit or I'm not gonna say quit, but no, like I feel I, take a break. Yeah, take a break and stuff. But like it just like be on my mind so much, and I'm just like. Why the fuck it keep coming around and stuff? So it's like it got to be something. Like I got to keep going with what God got for me. But I really want like I want to be the biggest. Well, I am going to be the biggest. Like right. and what I do. So right. yeah, and everything I do. So I got look, y'all. I got a little funny story real quick. You know what I'm saying now when she came in, she was just saying how you know she never did a freestyle. I ain't gonna say she was nervous, but she was nervous. And um, okay, <laughs> I was, <laughs> <laughs> but. She made a statement. She had said, uh, yeah, you was like, you know, when I, you had said something, and I said, uh, I said, no, just say you're going to kill this shit. You said you're right, man. It's yeah. manifest, you know what I'm saying? And she just went crazy. Like, I didn't watch For people, real? I didn't watch people sit here and do like, Eight takes, you feel me? Like, and, and for you to knock that joint out, you feel me? You, you yeah, and it's my out. first one. It's gonna be more to come, y'all. No, that's a big fact. That's a big fact. But fight. damn, <laughs> don't get it wrong. I be practicing, y'all. I be in the house. I be practicing. Nah, you, I be having to because when I step out, I gotta uh, let y'all feel me. No, no, I feel and that. Who I am? I definitely feel that. Uh, you got kids? The biggest. You got kids, and I could cut that out if you want to talk about that. Oh no, I don't have kids. No kids. Um, and I'm not looking forward to have kids until like I'm where I want to be in life. Like for real, for real. Like I gotta be well, well, and wealthy. Like I don't want to. I don't want to grow up how I did. Like I'm not saying I grew up bad, but it wasn't what I wanted. But my mom did everything she needed to do. I can say that. But I ain't really get everything I wanted and stuff. Like and stuff like that. I'm not saying that's what kids should have, but no, no, I get what you're saying. I feel like kids should not come in this world and deal with your problems. Mm. So I'm not having kids. <laughs> no time. You, you sound like see. I'm uh, all right. So you're and not to put your age out there. I'm 31. You feel mm-hmm. me? I don't got no kids, so yeah. I'm about to be like the fucking 40 that's good, year old. And that's taking, rare. Yeah, it's rare <laughs> shit. You feel me? My brother, he over there, he old like me too. He ain't got no kids. You feel That's me? That's good. So like, we what? we gonna but it also we gonna be the forty year olds taking our kids to kindergarten. Ain't ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why people be acting like it's something wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, all right, to me, I'm, I'm gonna take your word for it. All right, <laughs> I'm a, when I'm forty, taking like, my young boy his first time. Like, listen. She said, "Ain't nothing wrong with this shit, goddamn it!" You it's mean? not. It's like live your life. Like no, you gotta live your life first, and then bring kids into the world, and then yeah, like ain't nothing wrong with that. No, that's a fact. Look, before we get out of here, right? Mm-hmm. Do you have anything you want to just like get off your chest? Uh, just uh, to speak. I mean, anything. Of course. The time is yours. <laughs> yeah, if y'all ain't know, it's big motherfucking they star. Now y'all do know. And all y'all motherfuckers that's watching that be doubting me and just waiting for a bitch to fail. Stupid. It ain't gonna motherfucking happen. Duh. <laughs> like, it's not like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's me. <laughs> Yo, they fucking star. Yeah, dog. the biggest. <laughs> oh, man. So, all right, what, 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 what we got to look for? Um, New music. I've been working on new music. And it's lit shit. Like, I be laying low for a reason, not a season, like I be saying. Like, I mean, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. You got like all I the punchlines. Yeah, yeah. I be, in, I be in house practicing shit like this. I be waiting to come outside. Hey, yo. I be waiting to come outside. The fuck? Oh, that was huh? the really shit. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, man. yeah, yeah. And my business. I do hair, y'all. Talk to us about the I hair sell business. Hair. All right, get with so that's me. why you Mystic came in with your, you know what I'm saying, looking all, yeah, though. Looking like that girl. And with the, the edges on motherfucking, yeah. on swoosh. Yeah. If I learned, I know a little something, something. If I heard about the swoosh <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Edges yeah. on swoosh. You feel me? Yeah. But no, so look, where can they find you at? Which is shout out to business and all that, everything. Okay, y'all can find me on Instagram at Nate the Star, but I go by Nate Star. And y'all can find my business page at underscore, underscore, ooh, why do I always say that? <laughs> underscore Mystique Allure. Mystique Allure. I said dope name. And man. YouTube, Nate the Star. 
Give me two a thousand subscribers. Like, why the fuck is it taking so long? Y'all playing? Yeah, no, and yeah. Y'all see there. me? The biggest. Bye. Mm. I'm the hustler to hear Lido Takeover. <laughs> it's another episode of Takeover Files. Make sure y'all tap in that Takeover Bars, man. This episode is also sponsored by Yams, Young Ambitious Minds, Inc. Y'all know it's getting cold. Like, it's getting the fuck cold. Make sure y'all grab y'all new Yams hoodies. We got the hats on deck, and he got some new sweat breaker, wind breaker, jackets, every fucking thing, mm-hmm. motherfucking clothing, grabbing Yams, Young Ambitious Minds, Takeover <laughs> Files.